What's up everybody, it's Goose. Uh, today I'm gonna show y'all why I uh, chose to use electric fence um, instead of woven wire. Uh, this is it right here. Um, my property is surrounded by trees. Um, this is not the first time this has happened. Uh, the goats are about to get out. I brought some feed, it'll be fine. I'll get them back in. Um, this is the first time it damaged one of my T-posts, though. Um, uh, so, uh, yeah, thank God I don't have woven wire. Um, I think this is the third time a tree fell on my fence back here. Um, Jenny, no. Nope. Nope. Don't need her out. I don't know if I'll be able to get her back in. Uh, but, yeah, it... Uh, I got this, uh, this is poly braid. Uh, I got it from Power Flex Fence Company. Um, and it's pretty stout stuff. Uh, I don't wanna speak too soon, but it appears to be fine. I don't think it's broken anywhere. Um, uh, I think the only thing that broke is, well, that top. Well, that'd be a miracle if that's not broke. Wow. That, that <laughs> branch is leaning on that, but that tin, that uh, insulator isn't broke somehow. That's that's pretty amazing. Um, it just pulled the insulators off. Uh, I haven't done anything. I wanted to show y'all how what happens when a good sized tree falls on this stuff. Um, it just broke all of them loose. They're they're all loose right here. They should be up here. They just popped off, um, and it yanked all of them down. Um, I guess this happened this weekend. Uh, it's Monday today. Um, it rained all weekend, so I haven't been out here. Um, it uh, and I have the um, what is it? The Prima Shock Eight is what I have that uh, powers this fence. I got it set up on the energizers on my back porch, and it powers uh, all this fence on my property for the most part. Um, and that energizer, it tells you how many volts your fence is getting, um, which most of the time it reads eight. Usually I'm putting out 8,000 volts. Um, when it rains and all the vegetation that's touching your fence gets wet, it, uh, it drops your voltage. Um, so my voltage was on uh, 5,000 all weekend, but I, I thought it was just because of the rain. Um, Rained all day Friday, all day Saturday, uh, cleared up Sunday, um, but usually it, it takes a little while to get your voltage back, you know, um, everything has to dry up. Um, but today, this morning, I real, realized my voltage, maybe, I might have actually seen it last night, um, but my voltage was still at 5,000 when it should be back up. Um, so today on my lunch break, I, I walked back here, I seen this tree. Um, I immediately turned around and called the goats so they wouldn't notice it because um, I really expected them to jump out of the fence as soon as they seen this. Um, I was sure they would. Um, I was certain they, they just hadn't seen this yet and that's the only reason they haven't got out. Um, which they did just eat these leaves right here on it so I do think they just now realize this. Um, I guess they haven't been coming back here because um, th they have so many acorns in this in this pen this is like a three acre pen it's my, my pond up top up here and grass and then a bunch of oak trees bunch of bunch of acorns um, plenty of forage out here which uh, it's November 1st today so less and less forage um, winter's right around the corner uh, but yeah, anyway, I just, I wanted to show y'all my fence and what happens when a tree falls on here. Um, pretty sure my wire's fine. Uh, apparently my insulator's fine. I, I can't believe that, that one of them might be broke. We'll see. They're kind of jammed up right here. Um, but I brought extra insulators, brought another post. Uh, I'm gonna cut this tree up, throw these leaves to the goats. Um, and 
put a new post in the ground and see if I can get this uh, fence to tighten back up a little bit. Uh, but that's all. I need to get this done before it gets dark. I, I got about an hour and a half. I'll see y'all later. Goose out. <laughs>